YG says his vehicle was involved in the shootout with the police. But he was at the studio. Got him! Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN, Jack Frost, what's up, party people? I so, yeah. So apparently, YG is saying that he was not involved in the police shootout that his SUV was involved in. Okay, so first of all, let me say a couple of things because I don't think he's lying. I think he's actually telling the truth. I don't think this is... BS. Okay, so basically the allegation that's being put out there is that this particular vehicle that was in this particular situation, what's going on is it's a company vehicle. So for everybody that don't know, when you actually have a company and something is in your name, depending on how big or small your company is, depending on whether you have an LLC or not, you can have something licensed to you. So this specific vehicle, which was armor plated all the way around, they were ready for war, staying dangerous. Yo, anyway, I wonder real quick, the, 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 the whole term from that, does that come from Darkwing Duck? Like, I know that's like some shit that they were saying. Nipsey Hussle said that a couple of times. Uh, RIP to Nipsey Hussle. Did they, did, is that a thing that comes out, comes from like Darkwing Duck? Like, you know, people who's grown up watching Darkwing Duck and thought, you know what? I need to stay dangerous. Anyway, just curious. Anyway, so uh, YG is busy saying that the vehicle is registered. He is the registered owner of the black Cadillac Escalade that was involved in the uh, Wednesday night pursuit. He's saying that he wasn't there, though. For everybody that don't know, it began uh, with a deputy involved shooting in Compton, basically. Basically, for whatever reason that happened, allegedly, allegedly, the vehicle was doing some kind of like reckless driving or something or other, so they pulled them over. Real quick, before we even go into this, I was having a debate with somebody about this the other day, but I do know they can accuse you of reckless driving for any old thing. Reckless driving is kind of subjective. So if you switch lanes too many times, they could say, whoop, that's reckless driving. You might just be trying to get away from some numbskull that you seen, you know, chugging a damn 40 ounce. <laughs> Don't ask me why I said 40 ounce. You could probably get away from some numbskull that you seen driving, chugging a damn fifth of vodka. Like, oh man, I gotta get away from this guy. So instead of slowing down and allowing the person to pass you whereas if they got into an accident at that point you would then be in back of the accident you might speed up to get on the front end of whatever the hell that's going on so after this guy and his death wish get done everything that happens is in back of you rather than in front of you so like i said reckless driving is subjective so the vehicle was allegedly pulled over for whatever the reason is for reckless driving anyway the police do say that they initially called to comprehend a reckless DUI suspect, but detectives then responded to a deputy involved shooting after an incident, innocent bystander was caught in the crossfire. Now, there's a couple of things that I think <laughs> that don't make sense. So hold on. So, so there was a shooting, nobody wasn't called in, but after the innocent bystander was hit, somebody called somebody in? I don't know. There's just a lot left to be desired. In that particular comment. Uh, shout out to TMZ. That's where I'm getting this particular information from. Shout out to TMZ. I don't know who wrote it. I would, I would, you know, shout them out. But anyway. Um, TMZ sources say that YG is the registered owner of the Black Cadillac Escalade, like I'm saying. They also saying following the deadly shootout, a high-speed chase ensued. And the pursuit finally came to an end in Inglewood. So we're going to assume... At least the police are going to probably assume that that's where the individuals was headed in the first place. The Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department says more shots were fired during the chase. So these dudes was in the street driving, shooting at one another. Now, as far as I know, 
the police is not supposed to be shooting at people while they're drinking in the middle of the highway. See, okay, so this is this is part of the real issue and problem that we have with the police force. And I'm not saying that the police were shooting because it doesn't say that they were or weren't. It's just saying that there was um the, the way the sentence is constructed, it says with 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 uh pardon me. Police say one deputy was shot during the pursuit, serious, um, suffered minor injuries. But the way that this uh, particular sentence is constructed, it says, but detectives then responded to a deputy involved shooting after an innocent bystander was caught in the crossfire and shot dead at the scene, meaning that they were shooting at each other before they called the deputies, right? I'm just saying, that's the way the sentence is constructed, and they're saying that they got this information from the police. Then it says, following the deadly shootout, a high-speed chase ensued. Now, right there ensued and the pursuit finally came to an end in eaglewood right so there was a high speed chase after there was already a shootout right then they say the los angeles county sheriff's department says more shots were fired during the chase now if me knowing the police if the police weren't doing the doing any of the shooting they would have been like yo the suspects they were driving and shooting they would have tried to make these guys look like sound like rambo or something you understand what i'm saying so they're saying so i'm left with the way that this this uh, article is constructed to believe that the police gave the impression like when they were driving they were also shooting and also the suspects were shooting these guys was having these guys was dead ass having the freaking um a, a television a movie right in the middle of the street like this is crazy right in the middle of the street Okay, we're driving. You expect the criminals. I'm not even gonna say the criminals, but you expect the uh, the individuals that's being chased. If they're part of the criminal underworld, is that a better way to put it? To be shooting. You don't expect the police to be shooting all willy nilly in the damn street where they can shoot uh, innocent innocent civilians. What I want to know is the shot that killed the bystander. I want to know who fired that shot. Even though the criminal is going to be charged with the murder, whoever they catch is going to be charged with the murder. That's a fact because it was in the commission of a crime that was already in, 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 in progress. So they're going to be charged with the murder. But I want to know, was that, did that, that round, did that shot, did that, did that, did the deadly bullet that was, that hit dude come from, or the young lady, we don't know if it was a man or a woman at this point, at least I don't. Did that come from the police or did it come from the, the the people they were chasing? I'm curious of this. This is just my opinion. Anyway, they said uh, basically the vehicle got stopped, crashed. I don't know what the hell it did. The, there was two people in the vehicle. They got out. They ran. One of the people were apprehended. So at this point, we're going to see what happens. Um... YG is saying he is not involved in any of these shenanigans. He's like, yo, look, man, I was at the, the, the freaking studio all night. Why every single time something happens with a rapper, the first place, the rapper, the rapper could be anywhere. He's going to be like, yo, I was at the studio, yo. I'm telling you, beats. Like every single time, yo. Anyway, so he's saying he was at the studio. There's no reason to believe that he wasn't at the studio, just so we can be clear on this. But YG is saying that he was at the studio. And I guess that's a way of him telling the police that he doesn't have the slightest idea who had the vehicle. Because once you say that your vehicle, once you say you wasn't driving the vehicle, the police questions now is who's driving the vehicle. The easiest way for YG to get out of answering that question so he's not snitching on somebody is saying, I was at the studio. Obviously, if I was at the studio, I don't know who was driving every vehicle that we own. I can't give you that information. Not I don't want to give you that information. I can't give you that information. You get what I'm saying? So that's an easy way to get out of that. So shout out to YG for telling the police he was in the studio. Um, let's pray for the family of, of the man that was, um, or the woman. I don't know who it was at this point that I've seen, whether it was male or female. But uh, shout out to their family. Let's uh, try to, you know, condolences. Not shout out, obviously, but condolences to their family for uh, losing someone that, that you obviously, everybody got people that love them, you know. So condolences to that family. But let's find out if that was a, a, a round or, or, that, or that, that gunfire came from the police or if it came from the suspects. Because right now it sounded to me like that police out there, this sound like a hit. I'm not saying it was a hit, but I'm saying they not telling us how the gunfire started. And I'm not blaming TMZ. I'm saying... From the information that they gave the TMZ, 
They're not saying how the gunfire. Cops is real quick to say, well, the suspect did this, the suspect did that, and shit went crazy. They didn't, they're not saying anything. They're not telling anybody how the gunfire started, how the gunfight started. They're not explaining nothing. They're just saying, well, we were all, like, everything was already in the middle of happening. You understand what I'm saying? So I would, just me being me, be a little bit concerned that, you know, this <laughs> sounds like it was, I don't want to say that the police out there is put, doing hits, but this sounds really skeptical, really sketchy. You know, I'm skeptical of it, pardon me. It sounds really sketchy. It sounds like there's a possibility that the police was pulling off shenanigans. Um, I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, let me know what y'all guys think. Leave it down in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.